Welcome to the Nawal Zone, and I'm here. I want to warn you today about something. I want to warn you about a very specific kind of self-delusion, very insidious, that I have seen over the course of decades, that I saw in myself. Actually, in myself, I did not suffer from it so much, but I've definitely observed it in others a lot. You'd be surprised how much. And... Before I tell you exactly what I'm talking about and what you should stay away from and watch within yourself to see if you have that same insidious delusion within you, I want to give you a little story. I actually live, there is a person that we live with that was introduced to us as a mindfulness teacher. Mindfulness teacher. As I tend to do, I immediately saw, perceived the energy as it flows in reality. And what I saw gave me grave doubts about the qualification of this person being described as a mindfulness teacher. Sure enough, when you live with someone, that's when you really know them, right? You can know a friend which you, who you meet on the weekends in one way, but when you live with that person, that's when, over a period of time, that's when you start to see what that person's really like. And I can assure you that what I saw was, was true. This person has done a course in mindfulness. Now, I'll leave you with that one. <laughs> a course in mindfulness. How... Do you do a course in mindfulness? What, what, what are these people teaching? How, how do you make a course in mindfulness? It makes absolutely no sense. That's like, what a scam that is. Imagine if I came to you and said, you know, sign up to my newsletter, freebie this and freebie that. And at the end of the day, I start plugging you this. I will teach you how to Grab hold of water with your bare hands. Pay me such and such money and it's a weekend course. And in this weekend course, and I give you all the bullet points and make it nice and slick marketing. But at the end of the day, I'm scamming you. I am claiming to teach you how to grab water with your bare hands. It can't be done. It's the same way. A course in mindfulness makes no sense. So... What do you have as a result? You have as a result a person who is teaching others mindfulness and I can assure you that they are the most non-present, unaware person that I have come across. We tend to rationalize our lack of qualification and training in this most vital of Toltec areas, cultivating inner silence. We tend to rationalize it how? With, in two ways. One is, I've done a course or I am somehow now qualified because I've done a course or someone's stamped something and now I am qualified and I know how to be mindful. Never realizing that mindfulness is an ongoing process. You don't get to do a course in it. You get to live it out moment by moment and grow in it that way. So don't let these courses fool you. You've got to pull up your socks and start to live out your life in each moment with great, what I call, noticing ability. The ability to notice absolutely everything around you, inside of you, everywhere, all the time. Constant. You're noticing Ability has to be switched on, vibrant and alert at all times, even when you're sleeping, even when you're sleeping. So this noticing ability, a course in mindfulness will not give you. I can assure you of that. So do not fall into this delusion or reading books about mindfulness will actually get you to know what it means. Secondly, out of a hundred teachers of the Toltec system, mindfulness, all these, eh, all the many, many different, then new age, this and meditation and all these things. 
out of a hundred of them, 99 are those who are teaching what they themselves need to learn. I've seen it with my own eyes again and again and again and again. One of them, one of those hundred, is teaching what they have already learned. So at any given point, we have access to 99% of knowledge given to us by people who are needing to learn it themselves. That's why they're teaching. They're teaching what they need to learn. Okay, so you have a lot of hypocrisy, a lot of teaching one thing and acting out in life in totally opposite ways. It's rampant, rife. Even in something as bulletproof as the Toltec system, it should be bulletproof, but it isn't. You can't allow yourself to fall into the trap of throwing money at things and expecting gain that way. If I pay for this course, it'll teach me mindfulness. No. Step back and look at it. What what am I doing? Throwing money at this is not going to teach me how to be mindful. To be mindful, I have to cultivate inner silence. I have to switch on my noticing ability and look at things, look at my moments as they are unfolding and be there viscerally. Be there. Don't escape you can gain knowledge by reading books. No one's saying don't do these courses. No one's saying don't read books. Don't, no one's saying don't go to these meditation classes. But at the same time, be aware that they will give you nothing. They will teach you how to do something. Even then, if you have 99% of teachers teaching what they themselves need to learn, it won't even teach you how to do it because they themselves don't know. They're just spouting. They're just saying. It's just, just They're just saying things, right? You want to hunt out that 1% of teachers who, are, who have already learned what they are teaching. They are masters of their craft. They are applying that in their life. It's very easy to find people in this day and age. I get questions like, how do I find you? Yeah, well, if I wanted to be found that easily, I would have given you, I would have put my email in every description in my video. Don't you think I'm aware of that? I want you to find me. It's very easy. Apply yourself. If you wanted to find a something, someone very important or something very important, you would find that, find, that, find them or find it on the internet. If if you are keen about that one person, if you really love to learn and you, 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 you think you found someone who is the real deal, who is teaching what they have already learned, and maybe they're charging thousands and thousands of pounds. Some people do that. It's fine. Nothing wrong with that. But you want to do due diligence on that person. Go on so social media. If they are on social media, find out the people who live with them. Just send an email, say, I'm about to pay this person a lot of money. What do you think? Please, honest opinion, blah, blah, blah. Ask their wife, ask their kids, ask, get in touch with people. It's not that hard. But you've, as a, you as an apprentice, as a student, have to, you have to learn to think outside the box and do things that others are not doing. Find out. They will tell you how authentic, how masterful that person really is because they live with them. You see what I mean? So, of course, you don't have to do this. You don't have to be going around emailing people's children and wives. That's not the point. The point is due diligence means you've got to somehow find people who are teaching what they have already learned. If you don't do that, you will forever be stuck with cheap imitations like the gentleman here major self-delusion we create in this area is that I am a good person. I am a decent person. I want to learn. I'm willing to learn. But it ends there. We don't actually learn. As is the case with this gentleman I'm talking about in who uh, we're living with at this time. He's here for a brief period of time. He's a very, very lovely person. Very lovely person. Really is. Genuinely nice person. 
but that doesn't make them a teacher of mindfulness. Being nice does not make anyone a teacher of anything. Right? So don't get deluded by that either in yourself or, the, uh, or others. Yeah, but they're such a nice person. Yeah, but that has no bearing on... It's like a, a elite SAS soldier, uh, Navy SEALs, I think in America it's Navy SEALs, here over here it's SAS, and saying, oh, they're a great SAS, they're a great soldier because they're such a nice person. <laughs> it, they're such a great architect because they're a nice person. It makes... It's just ab aberrant thinking. So beware of that. The third thing and the most... Well, the fourth, I think. And the most insidious and poisonous, toxic approach that will self-sabotage you, and you've got to watch out for this one, is I am not being mindful because I'm going through a hard time in my life. Times are tough. I am emotionally distracted. Oh, I, I, my heart is hurting. She left me. He left me. My money is gone. House burnt down. My face, someone threw acid on my face. Someone chopped my legs off. Someone gouged my eyes out. Life is tough. Oh my God, I've got terminal illness. Oh, I don't have any money. How has any of that got anything to do with how mindful you are required to be in any given moment in your life. My boss gives me a hard time. Oh, the work drains my energy. How is any of that an excuse to not be mindful? In fact, I have, I can count on my fingers. I'm 45 years old now. I have met a lot of human beings in my life especially as a singer and entertainer, professional entertainer, singer. For decades, I tend to go through faces very, very fast. Hmm? So believe you me when I say I have met, I can count on my fingers and not fingers, perhaps a finger or two, the people I have known and met who actually understand through experience what being present really is, what being mindful really actually is, that they understand through experience. And all the rest of them I'm, I've, I've met who have read The Power of Now and the Eckhart Tolle and done the courses and the videos and they've written books, they're authors, they are this and they're that. None of them actually had even an idea what cultivating a bedrock of inner silence actually means. What does it mean to be vibrantly alert? The only people I met were genuine Zen masters. Masters, I stay away from that word, but Zen, trained in Zen. I did not even meet them in the Toltec tradition as yet. I'm sure there are many. So beware of this. A lot of you may think you know but if you got all these things swimming around you, oh yeah, my mindfulness suffers when I am suffering in my life. Watch that. You don't know anything about mindfulness. Sorry, but you don't. Mindful. That's like a soldier saying, I forget to fire my gun. I forget all my training because I'm so distraught with the struggles of life. My wife divorced me, so I can't shoot a gun anymore. Well, it makes no sense. Mindful <laughs> makes no sense. So watch out for these delusions in yourself and in others. And if you're willing to learn, find that 1% of teachers who are teaching what they have already learned and really stay away from this paradigm that says, I don't notice things, I bump into things, I'm heavy-handed, loud, crashing everywhere, not noticing anything, absent-minded because I'm having a hard time in my life. Life is so tough. My heart is hurting. She left me. Got nothing to do with anything. Your problems are your problems. That's it. They're just problems. If you even choose to think of them like that, hopefully you will. You, you are able to say 
they are not problems, they are challenges for me to learn how to grow. Right? But even all of that has no bearing on how mindful, present, alert, aware you really are, switched on. Life's problems are not an excuse to switch off. Once you understand that, the Toltec system will become a lot more readily available to you. The Toltec knowledge, the Toltec wisdom will, will make a lot more sense because the victim inside you won't override your training. Does that make sense? Let me know if that makes sense. A lot of time, guys, I must be honest, I make these videos and I feel like I don't know if I'm being clear in what I'm trying to put across. So please don't get hung up on my words. Please look at the idea that I'm trying to present behind the words. The irony that is that this nice gentleman, this lovely person, does not even know, does not know that they are their mindfulness teacher identity is a sham. And only an expert. It's kind of like, you know, I spend my life really doing we courses in becoming a Navy SEAL, right? And I'm like, yeah, I'm teaching people how to fire guns and I'm telling them, yeah, Navy SEALs do this, Navy. And I've read books and I've done a few courses. And suddenly what happens? I start living with a real Navy SEAL <laughs> who's in active service. <laughs> Everything will be revealed, but maybe not to me because I'm so busy in my own identity. But that Navy SEAL is not going to be fooled. You see, it's the same thing. So do not, do not fool yourself, be aware of your of self-delusions and be aware of others' self-delusions in them that make them insubstantial, not worthy of the respect that they would normally deserve if they were really living out their power. On that note, let me know in the comments below what you think of this topic, if you have any life experience along these lines. Subscribe. Love to have you again and again with me, watching these videos, commenting, interacting. I love to interact with you guys. Comment below what you think. Subscribe and share. Share them in, on your social media if you think someone else would benefit. On that note, I will see you again next time. Walk in freedom.